Peace. What it is. All right. I found my new favorite movie the other day. It's called Dogma. Uh, who was it? I think it was Bobby Hemmett. Or it might have been Brother Panic said to watch this movie. You know, it came out in 1999. It's called Dogma. Now, if you go look at my videos, you'll see I did one on the Da Vinci Code. Now, the Da Vinci Code put in a drop a lot of, you know what I'm saying, secrets about Jesus, about his, um, his uh, family. And his lineage and things of that nature. And Da Vinci Code. Well, this movie came out before Da Vinci Code. This movie go in even deeper. Like, it, it, it put it blatant. But see, it's a comedy. You dig? And this is how they do things. And I'm and the reason why I'm doing a video about this is because I want y'all to understand, man. They put the truth in the movies. And they'll put the ultimate truths in the dumbest movie. Because they know you won't pay attention to it. You'll throw it away because... It's a comedy. It's nothing. You see what I'm saying? So, you won't think nothing of it. Because, um, you understand what I'm saying? You'll think that, you know, it's just it's just jokes and shit. All right. So, right now, I'm going to show you the symbolism. And then I'm going to let uh, Matt Damon in this movie. I'm going to let him explain symbolism to you in the next scene. But first, this first symbol, first thing you're watching right here is this guy right here, right? Now, I'm going I'm to give this movie away. All right, so I guess I'm sorry, but at the same time, man, like it's not about these fucking movies. It's about what these movies say, what they put out here. Okay, so this guy is about to get attacked by three dudes. All right, if you know Freemasonry, you know the story of Hiram Abiff, the High Ram Abiff of Biff. Right, Hiram Abiff is supposed to be Osiris, or you know God, if you will. And he gets hit over the head by three ruffians. All right. That's the story. Now, if you know, you know that story is about the original man, the original woman who got hit over the head and forgot who they were. Now, check now. I'm going to let this play. It's going to go to two, two, three different scenes. But I'm going to let it play. I want you to see all of this. The first one is this symbol right here. Where dude finna get hit. You see, he getting beat up by the three ruffians. Now, this is going to come into play at the end of the movie. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do a few of these videos and I'm going to explain them. Now, but check it. All right, so check this out. <laughs> this shit's just hilarious. Watch this. Catholicism, wow. Cardinal Glick. Shit's hilarious. Watch this. Thank you, thank you. Now, we all know how the majority and the media in this country view the Catholic Church. They think of us as a passé, archaic institution. People find the Bible obtuse, even hokey. Mm -hmm. Now, in an effort to disprove all that, the church has appointed this year as a time of renewal, both of faith and of style. For example, the crucifix. While it has been a time-honored symbol of our Brown, faith, right? Holy Mother Church has decided to retire this highly recognizable, yet wholly depressing image. Pete Teddy Brown. Yeah, Pete that. Christ didn't okay. come to earth to give us the willies. Oh, no. Watch he this. came to help us out. He was a booster. And it's with that take on our Lord in mind that we come up with a new, more inspiring sigil. Sigil. So, you need to understand that. I present you with the first of many revamps the Catholicism Wow campaign will unveil over the next year. I give you the Buddy Christ. <laughs> It's not the sanctioned term we're using for the symbol, just something we've been kicking around the office. But look at it. Doesn't it pop? Buddy <laughs> Christ. Well. All right. So you have seen that, right? All right, so that's, that's kind of the premise of the movie. The Catholic Church is changing its ways or what have you, right? Now, listen to this part. Now, this is, just listen to this. He's going to explain symbolism in movies for you, all right? Now, understand, this whole movie is packed with symbolism. So this is at the very beginning of the movie, you see, because they're showing, they're telling you what's going on and what this movie is about. Now, check it. There you have it. Pardon me, get this straight. You don't believe in God because of Alice in Wonderland? No, through the looking glass. That poem, The Walrus and the Carpenter, that's an indictment of organized religion. The walrus, with his girth and his good nature, he obviously represents either Buddha or, or with his tusks, the Hindu elephant god, Lord Ganesha. 
That takes care of your Eastern religions. Now, the carpenter, which is an obvious reference to Jesus Christ, who was raised a carpenter's son, he represents the Western religions. Now, in the poem, what do they do? What do they do? They, they dupe all these oysters into following them and then proceed to shuck and devour the helpless creatures en masse. Now, I don't know what that says to you, but to me, it says that following these fates based on mythological figures ensures the destruction of one's inner being. Organized religion destroys who we are by inhibiting our actions, by inhibiting our decisions, out of, out of fear of some, some intangible parent figure who, who shakes a finger at us from thousands of years ago and says, and says do it, do it and I'll fucking spank you. The way you put it, I've never really thought about it like that before. What have I been doing with my life? <laughs> what am I? Yeah, I know. Listen, my advice to you, you take this money that you've been collecting for your parish, go get yourself a nice dress, you know? Fix yourself up. Find some man, find some woman that you can connect with, even for a moment, because that's really all that life is, sister. It's a series of moments. Why don't you seize yours? Not a girl. Now right. check this, check. Listen what he's telling. Listen what he's telling. You know, here's what I don't get about you. You know for a fact that there is a God. For a <laughs> You've fact. been in his presence. He's spoken to you personally. Person. Yeah, I just heard you claim to be an atheist. I just like the fuck with the clergy, man. I just love it. I love to keep those guys on their toes. Man, now here's what I don't get about you, man. Why do you feel the need to come to this place all the time? Uh -huh. Gotta fuck with the clergy. You Christians, man. Y'all have been brainwashed, all right? And, you know, you Muslims as well. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no difference. It's a different name. So, I hope you got that. You know, if you, we, I'm, I'm going to keep going. There's more to this movie. Much, much, much more. I'm going to keep going. So, peace and love.